So the third network query type that Redlock supports is the network query. Redlock ingests and monitors network traffic from cloud services and allows customers to query network events in their cloud environments. With Redlock, you can create network queries to detect when services, applications, or databases are exposed to the internet or if there are potential data exfiltration attempts. Network queries can be used to discover real-time network security risks. Currently, network queries are only supported in the AWS and Azure environments. Examples of RQL network queries would be to determine all internet traffic hitting sensitive workloads such as databases or instances used to mine cryptocurrencies. Network queries start with one of the following constructs, bytes greater than, cloud account or cloud region, destination or source, IP, port, public network, resource in or resource where, or state, packets greater than, and protocol. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, build a query of the network type. So we'll start with network where. And then I'm going to go down and I'm interested in the source public network in. So I want inbound traffic. And I want to associate this query with internet IPs and suspicious IPs. So I'm going to go ahead and close that. And I also want to add bytes greater than, and this is where I don't have a dropdown. There are a few examples where I do have to enter a variable. So I'm going to say bytes greater than 10,000. And hit return. So as you can see, Redlock displays the result of this query in a graphical format. So I have a visualization here that shows me that indeed Redlock identified a suspicious IP. It also identified, once again, the criteria of this query was that the payload had to be greater than 10,000 bytes. So you can see I've got one, two, three, four, five, six targeted instances for this query. And if I want to investigate further, I can click on any of these objects. I can click on the fact that this was SSH traffic coming in. And if I click on that link there, I'll get additional details about that traffic. The fact that it is indeed SSH, it gives me the traffic volume and the fact that it was accepted. There are details I can view regarding that information, that traffic, that SSH session that was going on, or possibly that attempt to connect via SSH to the Bastion host. And within this connection details dialog, you can see that I have a nice graph of the data over time and a table of all the records that are reported within these details as well. So I can continue to explore and investigate further with this information that's provided here. I can click on the Bastion host itself. And within the details panel, I get the resource ID, complete instance summary, IP addresses of that host. I can get an additional network summary. Once again, I have a hot link here to obtain a further traffic summary. Within these summaries, I can scroll just like you can in the SecOps portion of the dashboard and obtain additional information about each segment of traffic. And then similarly for the rejected traffic, I can scroll around and get tooltip additional information. And then if I want to look and see the alerts associated with this query, you can see that there are a number of alerts, and if I want to investigate further and look at the red lock alerts, I can click on that link there. It opens a new tab in my browser. And there are the alerts in question, and I can dig deeper into these alerts. I can hover over that alert, and I can scroll over to the right, and I can either dismiss 
or continue my investigation even further.